the secret genius in AMP. They talking about Phantom. Phantom is a genius. He's the person who made up the name, bought in Kai Sinat. That was crazy. That was a crazy, that was a pivotal move in the AMP thing. And look how that turned out. <laughs> Come on. Like, <laughs> he, really, he really is. He really is. He's an inspiration too. That's crazy. That's crazy. But you know who like an underrated genius that nobody, literally nobody. Actually, they made fun of the man. It's Davis, bro. It's Davis. He brought in Duke. Like he knew Duke way back then. I think he brought in Chris too. That was the foundation of their videos and their editing style. Pretty much. And everybody just make fun of him like he's just, <laughs> like he's just for like, 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 but he really, he really, bro, bro, he brought in Duke and Chris, I believe. Like, put some respect on that man name. I can't lie. Put some respect on that man name. People commonly think Ancient is the smartest. He has several channels for millions of subs. He does, he's, he's a, a house, he makes the best decisions. <laughs> exactly. I understand he buys houses, he has like 10 houses, thing. right? All right, he doesn't always do the smartest things. Hey, though, that's good content right there. That's good content. That's good content too. He does. Stop playing with him. Oh, no. Roaches in your crib, that's good content. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't think he brought in Duke. I thought David brought in Duke. Like, David knew Duke first. I don't know who brought him in, though. I don't know who brought him in. I could have sworn Davis. Davis brought in Duke. 2013. Bronx, I don't know. New York. Big BX. Come on, man. He was watching a YouTuber named White Boy Seven Street. He thought he had White to be Boy just Seven like him Street. to make good videos. It took a bit for him to understand he needed to be himself. <laughs> he was playing my team. I've never <laughs> seen this video. He deleted all his old videos, man. Only caught a few well, story later, times. He was able to get three thousand subs. Uh. He's in college now. And doesn't like it at all. Uh. His mom has forced him to go. He went on with college. And he didn't have enough money for books, so he had to take pictures of them with his phone. One day, Ben mm. was on the train. He was walking out, and then... Oh, he, yeah, he lost his phone, right? Or cracked it. He dropped his phone. Yeah. If he didn't get this fixed, he would fail all of his classes. Yep. He went out to see what he needed to get it fixed. He found a it place was too and much, right? it would be $80 oh, to fix what? it. He didn't have this kind of money, mm. so he had to go to his family, and no one had it either. He was stuck mm. and was thinking about what he could do. He was doing YouTube on the side and was able to get 10K subs. Mm. Four days went past, and he had to make a decision. Try this YouTube shit all the way. Let me just... Fuck it, my nigga. He went in mm. and did everything he could with what he had, but money was still an issue. He didn't have enough for equipment. So Facts. he came up with a plan. He's gonna sell jewelry and fake clothes. This worked, and mm. over time, he was able to get enough money for all his like, <laughs> now <laughs> That's like the Brian. Bruce drop him off method. Probably sold him for full price. Bruce said he uh he scammed like allegedly on a grill for like seven bands. Something like that. Something crazy, like something crazy like that. Like, yo, I had to get money, man. I was 16. Bigger and bigger. I needed that seven bands. I wanted nice clothes. Something like that. Then seven thousand mm. dollars. He showed his mom, and she didn't care. She thought he sold. <laughs> Chris didn't stop him, and after a couple years, got three hundred and sixty-five thousand no. subs. No, this is not the story. Why? What happened? She thought he sold. Crack on the street. Let's keep it a bean. Let's keep it a bean. She thought. Shh, shh, come on, man. Come on, man. How you? How you making that much in a month? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, I forgot the video. He's like, uh, I don't speak Spanish. Like, uh, diet, diet, something like that. Sale cuatro, sale cuatro, sale cuatro, sale, sale, sale. Start ransacking everything. Pulling out all the gavetas, all the cabinets is getting pulled out. Everything, everything. Going through under the show. Everything, everything. But I'm talking about my mom was the feds, bro. Like, and she ain't never find nothing. <laughs> was getting bored and the game kept getting worse and worse they tried to hold down his own man's anger but it completely stopped at 2k19 i'm going to switch to iowa Yo, content but oh. making a switch like this can kill your career ben or i can make it blogging and telling stories so he had to try Facts. regardless of the outcome he's been so doing story time though he did story time on his original but this story is not that accurate he did story time on his original channel he deleted those stories. Now he was, it was it's not it was his journey was not this smooth. His journey was not bro. This man is tripping. This is tripping. Whatever though. Whatever though. But New York slang and it popped off. He kept it making did. videos and they gradually got better. He eventually passed his gaming channel and subscribers. Then on September he stopped uploading on that gaming channel. He deleted all the videos. <laughs> Is amazing. There's an important thing. It was. He literally deleted his channel and then built a new one. That's crazy. Phantom knew most of AMP way before they blew up. How did this they all happen? knew a lot of them knew each other years before their success? And Phantom did it three times. Was it intentional or by accident? When I first started, I uploaded a um, a, um my fucking real life video. This was 
years ago. Years. 2017. Oh, mm. bro, I had 3K subscribers. Bro, I uploaded a video. Phantom commented. Phantom hit me up. Me and him was in a party. Oh, I, I guess. Party. Okay. I guess Phantom knew him before Davis. I could have sworn Davis was like, yo, I knew him when he was like. Davis, he was elite bucket 32. That yep. was a right? He was showing mad love to me, bro. And I was like, yo, bro, come on, pull up. What's up? Oh, okay. Like, okay. Okay. Some shit, bro. Like, the nigga that had no Dang. Time. And then he changed his name to I'm Davis. And then we started working, like, since he was like nothing. Like, so we met really, really, really early on before he even was I'm Davis. Bro. Phantom. Mm. Phantom had hit me up. Damn. When I, was I, know, I didn't know he was like, I didn't know. Okay. Okay. Phantom was the, okay. He's how tough he is. Okay. Bro, everything yeah, he has Phantom told me, saw Kai bro, working in the Bronx. Like, I want to pull out another Bronx nigga. <laughs> Brought him into the group. Brought him to Atlanta. That shit was crazy. Exactly. Okay, I guess Phantom is the. Phantom is the. Okay. Okay. Wait, it actually wasn't that simple. The idea of it was not as simple at all. Exactly, yup. Phantom, David, Stoop. No. It wasn't, it wasn't that for It was somebody else. Exactly. Just before the group disbanded, Phantom came up the group. Was it Chief? I don't know. Passed, yeah, he did make that. The group back up again. Yep. Phantom Davis, Agent, and Duke. On January yep. 24th, 2020, they made the AMP channel. Yep. And the first video was terrible. Ass. They needed a new video editor. So. They got Chris next door. Yep. They knew Chris was somewhat good because he edited for Soul Illuminati. Chris got his hands on the nah, video and he made it amazing. I don't know this if that's true. I don't know. Hope that this Cause Davis was knew good. Chris like from back <laughs> then. Like Davis like knew Chris. Year, Chris and Kai or something like that. AMP. All of Phantom's achievements and strategies are great, but at the end of the day, it doesn't know. matter who's the smartest. What matters is that there's a group currently taking over, showing everyone that if you want to be in a better position in life, you need to get it by any means possible. Facts. It doesn't matter how you feel Facts. or what people say. Facts. Time doesn't stop Facts. anyone. You've got Facts. to make something shake. Facts. Facts. And the two hardest workers there is AT and Phantom. I can't lie, that story's kind of crazy. It's like, it's kind of crazy. Like, OG, like they all knew each other probably like, below 20,000 subs. They all knew each other probably. But then like, Phantom adding Kai is kind of crazy at the end. Like he added Kai, Kai is the biggest streamer right now, currently streaming right now. <laughs> As I'm recording this, I think he had like 270, 270 subs. K, <laughs> 270,000 subs. Wow, bro, wow. Dang, bro, Phantom never, what if Phantom never brought Kai into a &P? What if Kai, what if, I think Phantom even motivated him to, to stream. But it, I don't think it was just, I think it was your rage. Your rage motivated. I don't know if Bruce, I don't know if, they wasn't really fucking with each other. I don't know if he motivated them to stream. Yo, it's, re it's really the people around you, bro. It's really the, they have good people around them. They have good people around them and they are good people to have around too. Like Agent, Davis, Duke, Kai, Phantom, your rage, Bruce. Pretty much the whole thing is just having good people around you and working hard and other people noticing you working hard and contacting you to maybe even motivate themselves. I don't know, I don't know.